Hey guys, I'm Lorelai, and I'm here to do one of my favorite things ever, which is talk about Dr. Dre. After a nine-year drought and the devastating announcement that he was scrapping Detox because he wasn't happy with the quality of the music, Dre is back with a new album, Compton, the soundtrack, which I checked out earlier this week. And much like any Dr. Dre album, Dr. Dre album is using the term pretty loosely because most of it is featured guest spots by his friends, old and new, very much like the past, present, and future of Aftermath, right? He's kind of laying that pipe for us. The breakout star is obviously Kendrick Lamar. Um, Dre also is bringing up a new kid named Justice, spelled cleverly, who is not Kendrick yet. He still needs a lot of development, but he's doing pretty interesting things as well. Snoop kills it and drops the best verse I've heard Snoop drop in a really long time on probably my favorite song on the whole album, uh, a track called One Shot, One Kill, that is definitely worth checking out. Uh, there are a lot of other songs that are really great too. Uh, Animals, Genocide, For the Love of Money, and All in a Day's Work are songs that speak with gritty and nostalgic fondness about growing up in the hood in a way that only Dre and his friends at Aftermath really can, especially compared to a lot of the new kids like, you know, like Lion and Tyga and like two or three or I don't know how many chains or whatever are doing right now. Um, unfortunately, there are also things about this album that break my heart. The first and foremost of which is there's no song on there that reeks of like a massive breakout hit the way that Still DRE or Forgot About Dre or Next Episode did all those years ago, right? And there are a couple of really sick transitions, but there are only one or two. And that makes the absence of them on the rest of the album kind of stick out like a sore thumb and like, sorry Dre, but when you are you, you can't just do a whole album coasting through on like making really good beats. You kind of have to take it to the next level. I would say that unfortunately this is not as good as The Chronic or The Chronic 2001. I do acknowledge that that is an impossible feat and there are a lot of things about this album that are really great. However, when it comes down to a real black and white choice between buy it and burn it, this is a great album to listen to while you're stuck in traffic, but if you don't already have it, invest in the uncensored version of The Chronic and The Chronic 2001 and go see Straight Outta Compton. Experience this movie in the context of that soundtrack. I think it would probably be the best use of your time. So that's my thoughts on the uh, new Straight Outta Compton soundtrack. And now I'm gonna go straight back to WeHo and see you guys next time.